guys are they're they're opting out as as quick as they can. It appears, and there seem to be all offensive linemen. Uh, Drayden uh, Durbuck, uh, Durbuck uh, with the, one of the one of the opt outs. Drew Forbes played here last year. Colby Gossip, uh, Gossett rather, uh, Malcolm Bridgeton, uh, Andrew Billings, all opting out of the uh, of the Cleveland Browns today, and of course the NFL. And uh, so reports uh, seem to look like it'll be rookie defensive tackle Jordan Elliott, who's the next man up after Andrew Billings opts out. Uh, is that a coincidence, or is there something to it with with all these offensive linemen dropping out? It, it's not a dislike of the of the coach Callahan, I would think. No, not at all. Basically, uh, what happens with these offensive linemen? A number of them are in high risk categories for certain medical reasons. Some of them, for some of them, it could be, you know, asthma, it could be body mass index, it could be different things. Uh, We do know that in the case of Drew Forbes and Colby Gossett, they took the high risk option. I'm not sure who else took the high risk option, but most of the offensive linemen, I would guess, have something that that gave them pause heading into this COVID marred year. Well, it gave them pause to be careful about it, but it also gave them an understanding that this might be the only time to make the big hit. They better have the aside uh, as, big, as big as it could be on the outside. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll just have to see how this goes. I mean, I asked J.C. Treader yesterday about, you know, the big men opting out and how that impacts the team and things like that. The good thing for the Browns is the fact that none of these guys were really penciled in as starters. I think the one that had the opportunity to get the most playing time was Andrew Billings, the defensive tackle. He was slated to be part of that defensive tackle rotation inside there with Sheldon Richardson, Larry Ogunjobi. And so I think that one kind of hurts the most. 